Uh, so wanted to give a couple of tips to new hunters uh, or uh, to hunters who still are having trouble finding deer uh, or elk, uh, finding the game they're after, is that every animal, they need three things. They need uh, a source of food, uh, they need a source of water to stay hydrated in hot weather, and, uh, and they need cover. For cover, it is going to be their shelter, it's going to be their home where, uh, where they sleep, where they rest, where they bed, where they take cover from pe predators, where they take cover from heat, where they take uh, cover from, uh, uh, from, uh, from rain, you know, or from like thunderstorms. So uh, primarily for deer, uh, the clear cuts are their food source, you know. In Oregon here, we don't have much trouble, at least on the west side, uh, of uh, water supply because uh, it rains, you know, there's a lot of creeks. Uh, and for shelter, they love, uh, uh, they love thick, thick forest. So uh, to, to get your chances of, uh, of harvesting an animal, a deer or an elk, uh, I would highly, highly uh, recommend uh, Choosing one area, of course, all of your scouting needs to be done before the season starts. Uh, because when the season starts, uh, you're not scouting anymore, you're hunting. Uh, it's the same as uh, all, of your, uh, all of your preparation for a test or an exam. It has to be done before the test or the exam starts. So all of your learning needs to be done before, uh, before the season starts. So pre-scout your areas what I like to do is uh, I like to scout you know three new areas uh, before the season starts and then uh, towards uh, towards uh, the beginning of the season I choose one area and I will focus on that one area for the rest of the season if there's animals of course and reason is is because uh, uh, technically a deer will stay they will live uh, and you know one square mile or a couple square miles their their entire life until they have to move either because of logging or of people moving in or of new road construction in the forest or something else happens but uh for you can assume that if you see a deer he's going to stick around here in a couple uh in these uh, couple square miles for the next couple years at least so uh, if you choose one area, like say you found you found a dead end road with a couple of clear cuts uh, for their food source and heavy timber for their for their shelter for their cover, their bedding area. You know, there's definitely has to be water in the area. So uh, if you if you if you find an area like that, I would highly highly recommend just learning that area, learning those you know, maybe five, ten deer that live there on those clear cuts, uh, learning their habits, learning, learning where they like to bed, you know, their, uh, where do they go in the mornings to eat, where do they, where do they, which trails they use to come back into the timber to bed down, you know, and then also learning if you spook deer, you know, where are they running, because they're not going to run for like three miles, you know, like elk will sometimes, uh, deer, uh, deer know their home you know they they like to stick around because if you spook them from one corner of the clear cut they might they might run into a little canyon and drop down you know and if you know that during hunting season if you spook them you can you can loop around and actually meet them on the other side and they wouldn't expect you to do that because uh they have ha uh, they, they have never had anybody do that to them you know uh but because you know because you learned their home because you learned their habits, because you learned, you know, uh, their trails, their bedding area, or their uh, first bedding area, and then their second bedding area. Uh, so uh, you can, uh, just studying one area, just studying, you know, half a square mile, or like one square mile, knowing every trail, knowing every, uh, every boulder, every rock, you know, every, every patch of uh, opening, or a patch of uh, brush that, uh, uh, that deer like to stick around in or hide in uh, will will you know raise your success rate even higher just because you know the area 
But imagine like hunting season starts, you haven't done any scouting, you're going out. First time you're on this road, you get to a clear cut that you saw on Google Maps and there's like five trucks parked on that clear cut. That's a disappointment. That's one reason why I stopped rifle hunting is because there's so many people out there. Uh, and, uh, during archery season in September, there's, there's a lot of hikers. There's a lot of people that still like to get out and go shooting, uh, but uh, less people who are hunting, you know, less people who are uh, hiking, hiking through the forest because, uh, or shooting rifles and stuff. Just learning the area, learning the deer, uh, learning what they like, you know, where they like to eat in the mornings, where they like to eat in the evenings uh, will, will raise your success way up high. Another thing is uh, hunting. Uh, hunting into the wind because if the animal uh, if the animal hears you or sees some movement and might think that you're another animal or you know if you if you freeze uh, and not move for a couple minutes it might uh, uh, lose interest and think that it just saw something that's not there but if the animal smells you you're done so that's one thing I learned always hunting with the with the wind in, in my face because uh, if the animal doesn't smell me, it, you can assume it does not know that you're there. So you can be within 20 yards of a bear, and that's what happened to me this year. I was within 7 yards of a bear, and he was coming to me because he thought I was an elk because I was downwind. I had a cow, cow call in my mouth, and I kept calling. And because there were other elk around that I was trying to track, that bear thought I was an elk. So he just kept coming to me through the bushes with, with its little cub. That's dangerous. And I had to actually loop around the bear for my wind, for the wind to, to carry my scent to the bear. And he didn't see me. <coughs> but when he smelled me, when she smelled me, they were gone. Both of them were gone. So, and I did that on purpose because I was going to an elk and I got into this bear that was between me and the elk. And she was coming directly at me. I looped around like 10, 10 yards for the, for the wind to carry my scent. To her and as soon as, as soon as she smelled me she knew I was a human being they were gone and I was able to get to that to that bull so learning the area learning the wind and learning what the animal likes to do because uh, uh, in some areas you know they know they have heavy cover they can feed until 11 o'clock and other areas and huge clear cuts you know where they have to walk quarter a mile uh, to the timber they're gonna be in the timber before uh, uh, before the sun comes up because they know they can't be caught uh, in the middle of the day in the middle of the clear cut because uh, because of hunting pressure they see you know trucks driving around and uh, and uh, the animals are smart the animals are smart uh, you know 24 7 they're 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 eluding cougars bears humans hunters hikers you know they're not they're not dumb so you have to uh, you have to pretty much uh, learn the animal, the animal's behaviors, and try to be like an animal to get an animal. So, if you're trying to get a deer, you gotta you gotta go where the deer want to go. You gotta do what the deer want to do. Uh, and if you want to get an elk, you gotta go to places the elk like. You know, if uh, if in September it's super hot and they want to be at six and a half thousand feet, you know, you gotta go to six and a half thousand feet. Uh, if they want to go even higher, you got to go higher. If they want to drive down to, into a canyon because it's way too hot for them, uh, you know, at 3,000 feet, they want to drop down to 2,000 feet, you got to do that. So uh, you got to learn the animal, you got to learn the game, you got to learn what they want, you got to learn what they like, you got to learn their home, and that's when you become successful.